Sure. Um, wow. Uh, it's great to be back playing lacrosse. You know, it's the first thing, I, you know, just to, to have that opportunity back on the field in competition. It's been a long time. It's been a long wait to, to get to this point. And I thought, uh, you know, the first half, we showed a little bit of the rust from not having, you know, a full fall ball and getting all those scrimmages in. And, you know, I kind of at halftime went in and said, hey, that was fall ball. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's go play the 2018 season. And I think the uh, team responded well. And they, uh, they got it done on the field and stepped up and really dominated in the second half. And I think you saw the, the depth come into play in the second half as well with the, uh, especially in the midfield line, being able to, to have two lines going and, and, and eventually getting that third line in there really allowed us to pick up the pace and keep it going in that second half. Um, and I think that's really important, especially with the way the games uh, are flowing now without uh, the stopping on the whistle. So happy with the result. I thought we had um, a lot of freshmen step up and play well and uh, make some impact right away and good overall team effort. Coach, you mentioned the rust. You fell down 2 0 early. Kind of a great way to start the 2018 season. What's going through your head on the sideline watching your defense kind of get beat up there to start the game? You know, it, it really started on the draws. You know, we, we just weren't effective. I looked up at the, the scoreboard and at one point it said 9 to 1 in draws. And it was just 50 50 ground balls and just kind of not being in the flow of the game and being a step behind, not anticipating. But, uh, you know, at the end of that first half, I, I thought the attack led the way on the hustle and really causing turnovers and getting the ball back for us. And I think that energized the entire team, uh, you know, going into that second half and, and allowing them to step up. I thought it was one of the best efforts by our attack on the ride I've seen in a long time. Can you describe the emotional shift as you guys start to score a couple goals? Sorry? The emotional shift as you guys started to score a couple goals? Well, I, I think we just, you know, we kind of were playing and thinking we we're just going to score and keep scoring. And, and it took us getting the draws, you know, and, and that's really was the difference. You know, we got the draws, we got two, three, four out of five, that type of thing. And that, that turned into goals, you know, early in the first half. We were scoring on our opportunities. We just weren't getting that many. So um, I think the key was really we picked it up in the draw circle. Um, I made some adjustments. And we got after those, those balls and got some draw controls. And, and uh, you know, it kind of mo changed momentum and, and swung it our way. You keep mentioning the draws, but like what specifically kind of like changed to really like swing that momentum? Uh, specifically, I think uh, the draw people made some adjustments in what they were doing, their technique, their stance. The grip, and then we started understanding, you know, what was happening, and we made the adjustments, which area we're going to run into, where the ball's going to go, and we started reading that better, and so that we were on those ground balls, and they were going into our sticks and not the other teams. It seemed in that first 20 minutes, every time the ball came flying out of that circle, it was going right to them, and that's because you're not understanding where it's coming out, you're not reading it well, so you got to adjust where you're going to be, you got to start. You know, really understanding where that ball is going to pop up. Like I said, we, we we made those adjustments and came up with the ball. Um, can you address what Coach was saying about you know, the first half was, was the ball ball? And <laughs> not, not that you know you got to play well, but you shook up in the second half and felt like you just ran free. Like you just started sort of takes through that transition from a player's perspective. Sure, I think um, first half. We all sort of looked at it like a fall ball. Uh, we got all of our nervous jitters out, calmed down, went to the locker room, collected ourselves, came back out, and we just knew what we had to do, and we did it. What's that like? It's so fun watching you guys play. You're running up and down the field. You got like, 17 people scoring. You can get rolling like that, and in the middle of it, you're scoring, you're passing. What's that sensation like? What would you compare it to? It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know what to compare it to. It, it's something that, you, I mean, you can only do it with a team. So I guess to have everyone and just have everyone have that same feeling, it just gets you so pumped up. And Coach, um, over the past couple weeks, we've talking about a new defense. We've talked about maybe a switch from man to zone. 
how do you think that played in today? How do you think the new people working in did? And how do you think that worked in adjusting in the second half? Well, I, I think we came out and we, we definitely were not. I think we were focused on what we were all supposed to do individually, and the communication wasn't there. And, and you know, we let uh, two players kind of dominate that first half for them, and then we made some adjustments. And we settled down, we started helping each other, and, and I think we adjusted well. I thought that was a, a solid second half of defense, and, you know, certainly much better than the first, and we just have to now take what we've learned in that second half and bring it to, you know, to Oregon. When you talk about kind of losing a defender who, or sorry, losing an attack who kind of cuts in and gets that doorstep shot, or like what kind of adjustment? In, in the first half, it was really the Dodgers dodging hard, and then we were sliding, but we didn't have a backup. You know, we're getting the slides, or we're getting the slides late, so they're just scoring on the one-on-ones. Or, oh, we go double quick, but we didn't have a second slide. So that's all communication, and that's all, you know, stuff we'll continue to work on. But like I said, I thought we did a much better job in the second half. You never lost a season opener before. Did you start to get nervous a little bit in the early going? No. Questions for the players? Oh, Nicole, sort of the same question uh, Emily answered. First half, kind of getting getting the feel out there. In the second half, we're on the racetrack, we're taking off. So compare the feeling in the first half and then how a fun becomes when you get flying in the second half. Uh, well, I mean, the second half was definitely a lot more fun, but I mean, I still think that we're playing together, so it was still fun the first half. I think not having a fall ball, um, I mean, we didn't really get to practice new rules, but we did that in scrimmages and stuff, and I think that by not having the fall ball, we were even more fired up to come out here today and finally get to play. Um, Carrie, four false turnovers. Um, a lot of switches on the defense, the new rules obviously playing into it. How do you think the defense looked today and how it improved as a team in the long um, I really think, honestly, that the defense really came together today. Uh, first half, like Coach said, that we weren't really communicating as well, but once we picked it up after the locker room, I think that we were on fire, so. <laughs> Nicole, you showed a lot of emotion, you know, as you guys started to go on those runs. Just, can you tell me, like, by, you know, spiking your stick to the ground and just oh, what emotion you guys kind of brought to the team? <laughs> it's just exciting. It's, I don't know. It's just really <laughs> fun, I guess. That's, that's all I got. Uh, for Asa. Can you kind of like talk about like what your mindset is during like three position shots? Like you pretty much are shutting down everyone. So can you kind of just talk um, about your mindset? Yeah. So um, luckily this year, um, Coach Gate and Coach Thorpe and Coach D. Felice uh, really helped me out and um, gave me a goalie coach, and um, <laughs> which I, I really did need. Um, so Maddie Palin came in and um, he's taught me a lot of things and. Um, you know, on uh, the, the free positions, I'm just, I'm trying different things, you know, and I think last year I kind of fell apart a little bit in the, for, for free positions. So um, he's helping me build off of a couple ideas, and um, today I just kind of put them to use and see what worked at first, and, um, you know, being patient and holding my pipe and, and waiting for the shot to come and, and not guessing where it's going and really truly understanding where it's going to go um, helped me get that saved. So um, that's something that I'm going to look forward to in the rest of my games playing. So. And there was a lot of pressure on you like early on. A lot of the, you know, they were pushing up um, to, you, yeah, to you guys. Um, just when the offense started to um, improve and get a, lot of, um, get a lot of work going, just how big of a side relief was that? Um, I mean, I, I trusted my defense and I trusted the middies. Um, but I mean, definitely uh, our team's a unit, you know, and if um, the offense is playing well, when, when someone scores a goal on offense, if uh, Levy or Emily scored a goal on offense, um, Carrie and I and the rest of our defense would bring it in and say, all right, um, they scored, now it's our turn to get a stop. You know, we're always working on our end to benefit our attack, you know, and, and that's the mentality they have as well. If they score a goal, they're not coming back on defense to, to score on us, you know, so we're always working with each other. How did you stay composed after those two early goals? Um, there was still um, a lot of game left, so I, 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 knew, um, I knew that uh, D would step up, but it just a little, some jitters. For either Nicole or Emily, like, how important was it to be able to find like, such a variety of different players on that attacking end that were really just able to make it work today? Um, well, I think the best teams in the country are always the ones that have a bunch of threats. When you just have one goal scorer, it's easy to shut that girl down. But when you have seven people on the offense and even more on the bench that can step in and make plays, it's really hard for a team to scout us. 
Coach, we talked about the draw a little bit earlier. Going forward, can we kind of see more of a uh, shared duty between Morgan and Julie? Uh, it'll depend, you know. I, I think we kind of started the way we left off at the end of last year, where it was a, a shared opportunity, and we we kind of go with the flow. And certain people match up better against certain draw people, but we'll give uh, both an opportunity, and we'll we'll kind of read the game as it goes. And and uh, I certainly have a, a good understanding of what the types of draw people that Morgan's really strong against, and then Julie. He's a good counter against the, the other type of draw players. Like today was a, a person that pushed really hard. When you push really hard, you know, Morgan's struggled with that a little bit. She likes to go up against finesse draw people. And, uh, you know, it, it showed again a little bit today. And, and, you know, Julie answered the bell a little bit on the hard push and, and got some draw controls for us. Great, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.